I'm going to show you how to use fluid conduits in Ender.io. So this here is a fluid conduit and we have some fluid tanks. Fluid tanks, of course, something in Ender.io we can use to store fluid. Who would have thought? Let's get a bucket of water. Well, I am, I am very British. I should have said bottle of water. Um, so I'm going to put our bottle of water in here and I'm going to fill this up. Now, what you're going to see is that there's no water in here. Now, in the conduit connector, you can see that I can insert and extract. If I untick both of these, it will disconnect it. And I can use a Yetta wrench, which is another tool from Ender.io, and right-click on this to reattach it. If I right-click onto the conduit connector again, so the, basically the face that's attached to the machine, let's say I only want to extract from this tank. And I'm going to say on the redstone mode, always active. You can then see this little arrow on here, so you can see which way it's coming out. And that is extracting out of this tank, and it is all going into this tank. If I click on this tank, now all the water is in here. Now, if I go onto this face and say always active, um, you can see here this is actually insert and extract, but it won't go into here because we don't have insert. If we put insert and extract on this one, I don't really know what it's going to do. I think it will kind of just fill up the pipes and won't know where to go. Yeah, that is what's happening. So if you do get stuck and it's not going anywhere, they, that may be why. Because on here, we're saying insert and extract. And on here, we're saying insert and extract. So it's basically just buoying uh, or bouncing back and forth. And it doesn't really know what to do with it. Again, if we say stop inserting into here, but only extract, what you're now going to see is if we um, put on this one, um, always active and don't extract, just insert, it's going to go into this tank here. Um, and that is basically how we're going to use the basic fluid conduit. This is the pressurized fluid conduit. This is basically just a much better upgraded version, and it will be a lot quicker. Now, one other thing you can do, let's say I wanted to use, let me got I can show you. Let's say I wanted to bring power through here. Well, I can check my energy conduit, place it here, place it here, and also place it here. And this will not interfere with the fluid conduit. They can actually coexist in the same cell. Same with an item conduit. I can put an item conduit on here as well, um, like this. And you can see here, I have both in the same cell. And this is one of the most amazing things about Ender.io that I love. If this was on a machine, I can't actually show you because I don't have an example um, for water. But imagine this item conduit was a fluid conduit. If I right click on here, I've got two. You can see that you'll basically have tabs where you can tab to the item, energy, or fluid conduit, depending on what you've obviously got attached on there. If it can't input it, like I can't have items going into this machine, then it'll just stay like that, and it'll just be the one. Um, so it'll just basically, you know, look. Oh, look, we can use items on the fluid tank. So here, um, I gave you that silly example for no reason. So I can tab between the fluid conduit and the item conduit. So if you come in and you've got two attached, that's how you switch between them and they will both be active at the same time. And there we go. That is how you use fluid conduits in Ender.io. Do check out the playlist on screen for other Ender.io tutorials. And also check out the playlist tab on my channel where I've done a ton of different mod tutorials on Minecraft. I do other games and there is a complete shelf just for Minecraft.